What's up guys, this is Philip Starred again and in this episode what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys how you can use Visual VM to take snapshots of heap dumps of your live running Java application and then how you can view them in Visual VM. So if you don't have Visual VM installed, please watch the first episode. So the previous episode, I'll link it in the description below. And that'll show you how to set up Visual VM um, in your IntelliJ uh, or uh, Spring Tool Suite or Eclipse IDE environment. So please go ahead and watch the video if you don't have Visual VM installed. Visual VM is a lightweight profiler, which is going to allow us to view detailed information about our Java applications while they're executing. So why would you want to perform a heap dump? You know, what is a heap dump? Well, a heap dump is basically a snapshot of the memory of a Java process. So can I say that again? It's a snapshot of the memory of a Java process. And that snapshot contains loads and loads of information. So that's going to contain information about the Java objects and classes at the time the snapshot is triggered. It's also going to contain things like, you know, class fields, primitive values, references, the class loader, the name, the superclass, any static fields, and so on. So it's really, really great to have this if you ever experience the likes of an out of memory error and you have a heap dump, because then you can analyze the heap dump to see what the hell was going on when it crashed. So let's go ahead and launch Visual VM, and I will show you just how you can do this while you're running your application. So minimize that. I have a very simple application here. I am creating bricks. And what I'm going to do is create 100,000 bricks. So if you don't know, uh, a Java object size is 16 bytes and um, with compressed stops. Uh, if you don't know what that is, I will make another video because that's a whole other topic. But yep, 16 bytes and we're going to keep slamming them all in the heap. Bang, 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 bang. And then after that, I'm going to print out done. So I've got two breakpoints here. I'm going to take a snapshot of the heap here. And then I'm also going to take a snapshot of the heap here using Visual VM. So go ahead and I'm going to debug this application. And it's going to launch Visual VM as we have the, the launcher set. And there you can see my GC is uh, performing. Um, so I have some GC flags in. Let me just show you them in case it's confusing you. But don't be don't be put off by it. I'm just I like to run with GC um, output. So as you can see here, I'm gonna bring in Visual VM. So this is what was just launched. And if we go to monitor, you'll see here we can see some live stats of our Java application. Well, what I'm gonna do is perform a heap dump. So this is the heap dump. I can go to classes and I can see that okay, that looks all right. There's classes. And then what I'm going to do is go back to my Java application. I'm going to let it play through until done. And then I'm going to perform another heap dump. So as you can see, I've played it through. I'm going to go back to monitor and perform a heap dump. And then I'm going to go to classes. And you can see now we have 100,000 instances of the brick. So here's before and here's after. And you can see that we have 100,000 instances. And the size of that is one point. 6 million, which obviously indicates that the size of, a, of an object, of a brick, is 16 bytes. So that's a quick way how you can perform heap dumps. You know, you can do more on this. You know, you can go and look at the thread allocation and, and what threads are doing and what they're going on. Are they blocked? Or, you know, do you have a deadlock? You know, what state are they in? Are they running? Have you yielded? Are they, you know, waiting to run? What is going on? This is going to tell you at the time of the snapshot. So please guys go ahead and check this out. It's pretty cool analysis. I like it. And um, be sure to watch the next episode, which I am going to be performing a memory out of memory error. And I'm going to show you guys how you can um, ensure that your application creates a heap dump when it comes, comes out of memory. I'll show you how you can create a path for that. And I'll show you how to load it into Visual VM as well. So subscribe to this channel and check out the next video.